Hello, this is the Beckstein Model 9 Upright Piano, made in 1925. We've done most of the work on this piano, so I'm just sort of seeing if there's any extra bits that we might need to do, and also appreciating the piano. Um, the legroom is about 61 centimetres, which is quite good, and the pedals are 8 centimetres high, so that's acceptable. If you're very tall, though, you might find it's a bit um, low for you, but otherwise fine. And looking at the casework, it's in extremely good condition, original. Uh, if we look at the sides here, we can see it's all pretty integral. So the, that's all original polish and uh, fading. Well, the, maybe the inside of the fold is slightly lighter than here. But I like the inlay here. That's probably boxwood inlay. Though I'm not a wood expert, but it usually is boxwood. Looking at the other side of the piano, it's perhaps slightly darker down at the bottom there, but uh, the top of the fold is good. So the polish has been kept very well, which is very encouraging. Let's have a look at the original colour. So the original colour is a bit darker than the rest of the piano. As we can see, it's generally faded evenly throughout. All pianos do fade over the years. Even if it's not in sunlight, it'll st still fade in light room. The key tops are original ivory and in extremely good condition. There's a little chip that we've repaired there, which you can see the difference slightly. But apart from that, they're all perfect. None of them have come off and been stuck back on. So the line here, so you get a strong line if they've come off and been stuck back on, as you'll have seen on other videos, I'm sure. And the music stand here has nice book holders too. Typical swing music stand, which folds inside for cosmetic reasons, obviously, if you don't want to see the music stand. The action of the piano is perfect as well. It has these fly dampers here because the, the resonance of the string is too great. It needs to cut the harmonic off here. So, typical Beckstein really, very resonant bass here. Although this is the shortest of the Beckstein overstrung pianos. Um, 1925 is a very good age for Model 9 and has a very good break point. And a good tone throughout. We'll compare it with some other pianos in a minute. None of the tuning pins have ever had had to be set further in, um, and they're very tight, which is encouraging. And the rest of the action is in perfect condition too. We, as you can see from the hammer wear, there's very very little hammer wear. Um, that's all there was, and we have lightly refaced it just to give it a little bit more bite in the tone. And uh, delicious sound really. The internal regulation has been done so that the dampers lift off all together to the pedal and if we look at them to the keys, let's push these two forward, that's C and B. So they come off when the hammer's halfway towards the string. Between a third and two thirds is, is acceptable and as much as possible all at the same time. If the dampers lift off too early it can be particularly heavy on the touch because the springs are quite heavy, especially in the bass where the springs are the heaviest and so halfway or two-thirds of the way to the string is ideal. Now most of the work on the assessment sheet's already been done and ticked off as you can see there. I just wanted to refer to something here and that is the up weight uh, which is mentioned here because I noticed it was very low. So we have 48 down weight which is absolutely correct and perhaps two or three grams lighter than average but um, the up weight is very, very low. And I want to refer to why that's important. So basically when we push the key down, there's less sense of it being pushed back up again. It's not resisting you, so you can lift it up gently. Now, why is that important? It just feels beautiful for the pianist. So as well as the piano sounding beautiful, the touch also feels very beautiful. We'll compare that with some other pianos. First of all, just to see what that means. So this down weight here is 48 grams. And if we put it on middle C, it goes down, just goes down and maybe actually 47 grams really, but that's not gonna, you're not gonna really feel one gram difference. So let's say that's 47 grams down weight. And now as we take weights off, let's see how many we need to take off for the key to come up. So I'm taking off 16 grams here. We have 32 grams left on the key and it stays down. So. With 16 grams taken off, it's still staying down at 32 grams. Now, a, a lot of pianos will be 32 grams. We'll see some examples in a minute. I don't want to make the video too long, but I think this is a point I really want to mention because it's so, so pleasant when you feel low down weight. By the way, you need to put the foot on the pedal when you do this, if you try measuring it at home. You can get weights from, if you Google and see what the weights of, of coins are, you can make up your own set of weights. So there's 30 grams and it's still not coming up. 
and we'll take off four grams here see what happens and it seems to be coming up so just about so there we have um, 24 grams three eighths of 24 16 and 8 and it's just coming up so that's 24 grams as we've written down there let's have a look at some other pianos now here's a 48133 Forex tallest piano and one of the very best and similar price to the Beckstein and let's just let the weights go down this is 50 grams here and it's just going down at 50 grams which is absolutely perfect Forex are very well balanced in their weighting so we'll find that hopefully and I've said that that D will with a bit of encouragement also go down so within plus or minus two grams they'll all go down at 50 grams or for uh, this is 50 grams so that's probably 52 grams and and let's have a look at the up weight so that's 32 grams up weight and that's not coming up let's have a let's put less on it there's 24 up weight 3 8 24 that's obviously still not coming up and here's 22 grams and just on its way up so 22 grams up weight is excellent so again it feels beautiful to play it doesn't feel as though it's resisting you here's a 1970s yamaha u3 is extremely good piano but the up weight the down weight here we've got i think that's 57 grams so it's a bit heavier and we will try and lighten that a bit before it goes out so 57 grams there and it's going down let's see what the up weight is so the takeoff obviously it's um less than 48 which we're glad to hear but 32 it's more than 32 let's put another four on there so it's at 36 grams and it's still going up so let's try two more so 38 grams it looks as though it's about right and um, perhaps 37 grams because it's going up let's try pushing it down again well it's definitely more than 30 grams so let's try it there we are so that's 32 grams i think um so it's much higher than the 24 grams that we had on the Beckstein and the less than that on the Forex. Here's a mid-range Kawai a, a digital piano. And if we put, this is 48 grams, it's not going down clearly. So I'm going to put, add an extra 8 grams, that's 56 grams. And it's just sort of moving some of the way down. And adding another 4 grams, so that's up to 60 grams. It's coming a little, trying to get all the way down, but you still need more pressure to get it further down. So um, it's it's a strange, different feel altogether. This is a mid-range Kawai and uh, genuine dig digital pianos. We're going to look at the up weight now, because that's uh, very, very different. So that's 48 grams up weight, and it's pushing it up straight away, up to that point for some reason. Um, so it's not going all the way up. Let's try taking that. So it's 32 grams going all the way up, and we'll just try 32 and 8. It's 40 grams, isn't it? let's try 40 grams that's nearly going all the way up so it's got a much much higher up weight and that's the case with digital pianos generally except for perhaps the very top range ones that have got uh, simulated piano keys in them here's the least expensive casio very uh, small very portable so students like buying these but the the down weight here we've got 63 grams on it's just about doing something so that's 63 compared to 50 52 which we found on the pianos let's take a few well really if you leave if you leave 60 on it still pushes it up so there's not much difference between up weight and down weight a very different feel altogether now i'm going to try and compare the tone of those pianos
So that's a Beckstein Model 9 upright piano made in 1925. And what's particularly special about this for me is the, the low up weight, which is the kind of touch that you just want to keep playing the piano. Of course, it needs to be well regulated, and I, and I can assure you it's as well regulated as a new piano. I compared it with modern pianos just to say that if you want to practice a piano and if you're doing exams, you'll be just as well off with this and with a beautiful round tone of it. As a tuner, and I think tuners will hopefully agree with me, that the, the tone that you get from the older pianos makes you prefer them. very even tone throughout and wherever you play it it's a delight to listen to and, and a delight to feel so just to recap the the low up weight which I've tried to compare with other pianos and it really makes you want to play and play the best comparison to this was the Foric which is a very delicately balanced touch and as well as being a very tall piano, has one of the best touches, I believe, in any new piano. It's very sensitive to play. So thank you very much for listening. If you'd like to try out the piano, you can't come in. Just write to us, infoatrobertspianos.com. We do offer the option to try a piano out for a month, or the normal option is 10 months, where you pay the difference after that from what you paid initially. Thank you very much for listening.